Hey guys, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing good on this beautiful weekend. Um, it's a blessing to see another day, and I hope everybody is doing good. If this is your first time coming to my channel, thank you for coming by to stop and see what I am all about. And if you are returning again, thank you for stopping by again, and I hope you come by often. Um, please like and subscribe and hit the notification button for any of my videos that will be upcoming and you'll be able to be the first one to see. Um, my video today is about Twin Flame 101, learning how to love and deal in this world full of crazy chaos. Um, so many things that we are all going through as different in individuals. It can be tough <laughs> it can be tough you can have a good day you can have a bad day but learning how to deal with it and learning how to cope and moving on from it that's the process and we're all working on that it's like we're being teachers and students towards each other we're learning it's like you're learning new things every day like um i'm going through my process of you know dealing with my father's uh death and learning about him being my father um, Prince Rogers Nelson. Um, it, it's, it's just been surreal to me. It has its good times and it has its bad times, but it has brought me so much knowledge and love that I'm so grateful for. And I mean, those are the things that I have to be grateful for, even though they have been not so pretty. Um, it was still a, a life learned lesson. And, you know, things happen to us for a reason that we don't understand, and we have to deal with them. We have to move on. You have to learn how, you know, don't deal with it in a negative way. Just learn how to, you know, get out of that stagnant, you know, get out of that funk. Like today, I wanted to go nature walking, and it was like raining, and plus I had to work all day pretty much. So I was just like, you know, I'm tired of relaxing, so right now I'm listening to this music. And it's just so peaceful because I love how to listen to piano. It, it, it's just, you know, since me and my dad's reunion, I've always loved instruments um, growing up. I've always wanted to, wanted to play again, uh, especially with the piano, drums, and the guitar. The guitar has really been, like, I've been perking my hands to just get on a guitar so bad. And um, I already know I'm just like, It'll be just crazy just for the experience. Um, especially, it's been since I was 12 years old. I just turned 40 a few weeks ago. And I, it's been since I was 12 years old, since the last time I got on the piano. And it's like listening to this, it's like I feel my dad's energy and the oneness about it. And it's just like, wow, the, the way the keys are just strokes just so perfect and peaceful and I'm listening to it in a different way and it's just like wow <laughs> this is how my dad listens to music especially when it comes to I guess the instruments or whatever he's very technical about it and um, I guess that's just with anybody any, any musician or whatever but it's just to actually feel that way about music from a different perspective is just a blessing to me and I look at all the things that I've done since this process of knowing all the things that I've gone through, um, my journey, I, I mean, I wrote a book that, um, that I can't wait to go ahead and publish, hopefully in the near future. Um, it's about my life and it gets more into detail about the things that I went through growing up from the time I was born until basically now. And it is just, it feels good at times because it's just like if I actually look at it from a positive perspective, it's just like, you know what, Rosalind, you have grown a lot. You have been strong through things that you didn't think you were going to be able to conquer. And it's just a lot of things that we go through. You, you At that moment, you have gone through something that is just so grief-stricken. And it could be anything, and you just feel like you can't get through it that moment, and it might take days or weeks or months, or maybe even a few years, and if you look back at that exact moment from the time that it actually happened, and you, you look at it from a positive perspective, not look back as, you know, something, you know, that's depressing or sad, but look at the situation from a different way. And I, I look at my dad, it's just like right now, I have pictures, uh, a picture of my dad with all these different candles, and um, I say prayers 
uh, just to keep him very protected. And um, it's just so many different emotions I feel at that time that it, it's just so beautiful. And I have to count the little things that, that I go through every day. Even if you're going through things that are bad or good, it's still something that you need to be blessed that you're able to experience because a lot of people weren't able to wake up to experience all the things, you know, just be, you know, we, we, we take things for granted. Like we might not have the nicest house or the nicest cars or whatever, or might not even have the nicest job, but be grateful because there's a lot of people that the things that we're complaining about, they don't even have. So I, you know, I have to think about stuff like that, you know, be grateful for the little things so you can go through that learning process to get to the big things and be grateful for those so when you actually get to where you gotta get you're gonna look back at what you've done and you're like you know what it was all worth it and i look at all the things that i'm going through and it, it's just like my you know it may be at a time where i'm not in that good mood i'm just like ugh, i'm just so ready for this to be over you know and it's just so many things that come at you from different angles you're like why is this going on why is this happening to me it's just like you have to roll with the punches like every day and that's what makes you strong that's what that able it helps you heal to the better the better you and it's just even though know, you feel like you might not be able to get through you're gonna be able to get through it it might be hard at that time but you're gonna have to learn to you know be a survivor it's just that we when we were stepping into this this earth you know this world to be born you know we were in survivor mode so i have to look at things the way you know even though the world is full of chaos you know there's shootings going on crazy deaths and it's just so many different things that we're having to go through as humans humanity that it's just crazy and we're learning how to deal with our different battles it's just like as soon as you wake up in the morning you're dealing with something you're always dealing with something and you have to learn how to accept it move on or whatever but just be grateful that you're able to experience the things you're experiencing even if they're not so good because it helps you it actually helps you grow it makes you a better person even though things might be against you at the time they're not going to always be that way and I have to keep telling myself that and um, I always try to stay prayed up and meditate, you know, go on nature walks if, you know, the weather, you know, permits you to do that. Like right now, I'm just so in relaxed mode because it's been a long day. It's like the last couple of weeks at my job has just been so crazy. So I haven't just really been able to get in touch with outside world unless I'm going from work to home, home to work or, you know, running some errands or whatever. So I know I have to take time out for myself to go ahead and do that. So I can go ahead and clear my thoughts because it's like right now I feel like some kind of blockage or whatever that I know I have to get through that. But um, it's just so many different things that you're going through. It, it, it's just it's just crazy. You're not going to go through it all the time. It's just like you have to find different ways of dealing with the things that you're going through. And um, if you guys would like to, you can go ahead and write a comment down. Let me know how your experience was of um, dealing with so many different things. You know, I, I go through my kundalini and my um, ascensions daily. It seems like I'm going through a lot of that stuff. I still go through my chills. It's just like almost for a week, I haven't been able to eat any kind of you know, red meat or anything like that. I haven't really had an urge to, and it, when I did, it just, it wasn't good. So, um, I know I'm going through a process of becoming a better person, because it's like now I look at nature and the process of, you know, living things a different way, you know, it's just like I look at life is very precious, and something that we take advantage of every day, you know, we take it, not take advantage, but take it for granted every day. It's just, you know, we complain about you know, the things that we don't have that people actually don't have and probably have worse. And I try, you know, it's just like, you know, you have things that are bad, but I guarantee you, if we were all to throw our, our you know, issues and problems on the table, would you pick somebody else's or would you pick your own? I know I'm going to pick my own. <laughs> I'm not trying to deal with somebody else's because dealing with somebody else's process, oh no, uh, -uh that's starting from square one and I might not be able to handle it just because you're able to walk in your own shoes. You might not be able to walk in somebody else's and it just seems crazy. Or you're going through something or you might be around 
a lot of people are just getting blessings left and right and you're just like okay when is mine gonna happen you have you can't look at everybody else's but you can never look at somebody else's blessing because you never knew what they had to go through to get that so you have to be just like you know what okay they're gonna get theirs congratulate them be happy or you know just learn how to different do different ways so you could be able to do something better for yourself you know you go do different things it's just like you know I was talking to my friend the other day and I had to ask her because we're so in tune you know were you in a funky mood today were you in a you know and it just seems like she would think something earlier and I would say it around the same time like she would think it and I would say it and it's just like you know I'm like what's the word you trying to use for your mood today and it's just like we'll say it I was like oh my god that's the exact same word I was using and it's just so crazy you know and if you feel like you're stressed out or whatever try to find one of your friends that you're able to you know that you have a lot in common with and see if you can talk to them about some of your stuff you know maybe you can have a close friend you can vent to you know um I try to meditate and say my violet prayers a lot. You know, those work. Because after, I know after I say my violet prayer, where I feel so clear, it's not even funny. And I, I, it just puts me in a good place. Like right now, I'm listening to this music. Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. It makes me want to jump on the piano. And it's just like listen to all the different tunes. It's like, you know, different, you know, the different notes. And it's just a different process how I'm think, taking it all in is just it feels good it feels really good because I'm so in tune with it and it makes me feel it make, puts me actually in a good place because it's just like my, my feelings just been all over the place and I didn't want to be like self-sabotaging or pessimistic or anything so I'm, I'm you know I had to put on Pandora yesterday and it's just like when you're in a mood like that try to put on some music upbeat not no you know woe is me or anything like that listen to something that you know one of your favorite jams and get yourself back to that that happy time and different processes so um you know i said going through all these you know situations and and um different experiences it's just been crazy because it's like some of the memories that i have i know that are not mine so they have to be some of my dad's but it's just like lately it's like if I watch a performance of his it feels so different it's like I have a different presence about it because I guess um growing up I wasn't able to really listen to his music the way I wanted to so I'm soaking everything in like okay I, I have to listen to more of my dad I have to listen to more of my dad and it's just like you know what calm down <laughs> just relax just take it in but don't you know don't overdo it because sometimes I you know I I start missing my dad a lot and I'm just like, oh, wow, well, you know, don't listen to his music so much. Just, you know, let him be at peace because you don't want to mess up his frequency and stuff like that. You don't want to mess up his spirit. So, you know, I just, I get to a point, sometimes I miss the physical presence. Well, a lot. I'm not even going to lie. I miss a lot of my dad on the physical presence. But I know he is transitioned, transit, transitioned, I'm sorry, got tongue tied for a minute, transitioned to a better so I mean it, it it just knows that you know you can go into a different place and just I, I feel a different presence and I know he's there or um, a song will come on and it'll remind me of him it's just like I was thinking of him the other day on my way to work and I see this red Corvette just come flying past me and said thank you on the back of the, <laughs> the license plate and I'm just like okay you know that's just him letting me know you know hey I'm here and that that's just a comfort for me it's just knowing that you know even though i didn't get a chance to meet my dad it's just that love that love is just no matter how much somebody tried to block that away that's just something that nobody can ever steal away from you and i am so grateful for stuff like that and it's just like listening to more of his new you know more music and it's not new but it's new to me it's just a blessing to me so i try to count all the little things that I, I have going on for myself, even though it's good and bad, I have to be blessed that I'm actually being able to experience it. So, um, I'm not going to take too much of you guys' time, and um, I hope everybody's having a good weekend, and please stay safe, and I will keep you guys in my prayers, and I will talk to you later. Peace and love and be wild.